okay so what is constructor construct is nothing but a method which is going to have which it is a compulsion that your constructor should have same exactly same name as that of class okay if your class name is class 1 then your constructor should be class 1 only and it is something which gets invoked the moment someone try, uh, tries to create the object not try the the moment the object gets created a call to constructor goes and the cons whatever is written in that constructor method that gets invoked okay so for example here if i create one class so that works as prerequisite for us what i mean by that is suppose i have class a and uh, i have class b i have two classes right and after that okay and this class b is the main execution or let me make this one as main execution class so inside this let me write the main method okay so see in this class b i should have something like not i should like if you don't create any constructor then also one constructor internally gets invoked but nothing is written in that constructor that's why you don't see it like now whenever you have created object you didn't saw anything getting printed on the screen extra right but just because that internal constructor which is called as defined default constructor or default constructor that constructor gets invoked but we can't see any output on the screen because nothing like print statement is written in that constructor but let's see um, control v and um, this is my class name right so public this is a method but this is a kind of a method for which the implementation is not sorry the written type is not allowed so the moment one second let me write it here okay so the constructor is should have a same name as that of class and it should be method that's why this and just because it's it's a constructor there is a rule that you cannot write a written type for this okay the moment you will write the written type it will give you an error the change to constructor what yes change to constructor means remove the uh, written type then it will get changed to constructor now this is a constructor okay this is visible to us normally we don't write constructor that doesn't mean that constructor is not there that is a by default constructor which gets invoked so what i have written in this constructor for example i write hello from constructor something is wrong with me constructor colon of class b okay so this is my constructor okay and let me create one method as well class b method and if it is a method of course it will be needing the written type which is void and uh, hello from the method of class b okay now i have one method i have one constructor two things now to access this thing what i will do i will call this sorry i will call create the object of this class right so in class a what i'll do i'll create the object equals to new class b okay now see i haven't called any method here why okay now see i haven't called any method here yet but still it will print something which is there in the constructor why uh, let's see that first see hello from the constructor of a class b why it is getting printed because this works as a prerequisite so whenever someone will try to create the object of class a or class sorry of the of the class for which from which you going to access the method okay and if in this class there is any constructor present then that will automatically gets invoked even though till now you haven't called any method okay so this is the use of the constructor that whenever uh, before using suppose this is the suppose this is a login functionality okay and then you have sign up functionality and then you have hundreds of functionalities but before that you know that you have to launch the browser and launch the um, url so those things you can put in a constructor so every time you will call anything else like any functionality before that your prerequisite will be ready getting it okay so any class like in any class if you will uh, create any new object for this class that that thing will get uh, invoked so if i create another object for it so this is object 2 this is object 1 suppose
so it is calling it twice okay if in class three if i have new class class three and in this class also if i call Mm, if I create the object of something that is class three obj three equals to new class three. See, I didn't call anything. If I run it as the run it as Java, uh, it didn't print it. Why? Oh, okay, okay. Because in class. Uh, <laughs> Where is class A? This is this is class this was class B, right? So I have to create the object of class B, not class C. Okay. Cool. So this is what happens when you create a constructor. Okay. And now if you want that your constructor, it actually maps this, this thing, uh this thing is the object creation of the class b that you are creating the object or a variable of type class but what it will do it will create a new object and at the end it will call the constructor so this thing is a constructor okay so what type of constructor you will define here that type of constructor it will call for example if i go to class b and i create another constructor okay you can create multiple constructor without overriding don't worry so here you have another constructor so in that case what you can do you can provide the parameter here that i want to call a constructor which will be which will be holding the suppose you want to launch the url so maybe you are providing the value of a url mm -hmm. okay so here uh, if you will say a normal constructor then it will call that one otherwise if you will provide an url here whatever okay this is your url in that case this method will get called so this will be let me write parameterized so see i haven't done anything else i just provide the parameter so this mapping will go from here to here it will check for some constructor which is having a signature same as that is called here so this signature it will look for okay and according to that it will call it so see okay so depending upon your requirement like suppose you have um, um, prerequisite for your web automation and prerequisite for your mobile automation different then in that case is create a two different type of objects and then start working in the same class like in the same class, create two different type of objects and then start working with that. So your both the prerequisites with, will be ready. So normally we create constructors for um, maybe assigning some value. We want that, um, you know, some calculation should happen and my new variable should be ready with, before I am using any method or actions, before that my variable should be ready with their respective values. So in those cases, we use constructors, nothing else. So how many type of constructors here? One is the default constructor that we cannot see, okay, but it is there and it gets invoked when someone tries to create the object. The second one is parameterized one, okay, mm -hmm. and the moment you create a constructor, okay, a new constructor, the one which you were not able to see, but the moment you created this constructor, this is non-parameterized. This will be called as a non-parameterized one. Now the default one is not there in the picture. The moment you will create this with this then they will be a uh, constructor uh, of the same class, but they will be called as non-parameterized constructor and parameters. The now default constructor is not there anymore. Default will be there if you are not specifically going and writing this constructor. So if you are not writing this, that means there is default one. If you are writing this, that means you are interested in having one constructor, which is non-parameterized and the second one is parameterized. Okay, and after that, what you have to do? Nothing, you created the object, right? So using any of the object, call the method of that class. What was the method? Class B method, right? So if I run it, see, it is printing this. So before using any actions at the 
moment when you created the object the parameterized constructor will do all your task whatever is written inside the constructor okay so very important topic that what is constructor and uh, how to use it and what type of constructors you have used in your project okay, okay. simple simple concept mm okay this is all about constructor let's go to back to the syllabus and let's see what's remaining Mm, I'll stop share now once again. Not stop share.